clinch for the Sun Division. And it looks like we are getting things underway here now with the kickoff. The Sagehands will receive to open up the first quarter, and we are underway from Merritt Field. Rodenbaugh back there takes a look at it, goes a yard deep in his end zone. He decides to take it out. And he's going to be forced out of bounds. One pass options. Russo in the back looking for Wimmer on the reverse, and he finds him. He's got a little grass in front of him, following his blocker. Furnish out there making blocks. And Wimmer in open field, and that's going to be another stage 10 first down as they go into Kingsman territory. A uh, third down and 10 to go after two incompletions. Russo will look for a third passing play out to the side. What a timing out that was by Wimmer and Russo. This is just having confidence. Looks like about three to go. Russo back there. Gives it to Sander on the right side. He's got the edge. And it's a touchdown for Pomona Pitzer. Jack Walker looking to make it seven. High snap. Russo doing a good job getting that one down and it's through the uprights. So a score on their opening drive. Sage Hens take a seven to nothing and lead points on the defensive end. So if you think that you can scrap your way down the field, they're gonna see if you can. And that looks like what Cal Lutheran's trying to do here. Or for Cal Lutheran. And it's a fumble in the backfield. A fumble on the exchange, and it's George cutting for the Sagehens, coming up with the ball. Turnover on down, Sagehens will take over, first and ten. He's right. And it's going to be a bubble to Quinn Wimmer, and makes a good grab, has a blocker out there, and Matthias Olsen puts his head down and gets about nine. In the backfield with Jack Susank. And Russo goes right up the gut following two sinks. Scoots to the outside and is into the end zone for a Satan touchdown. Walker out there looking to make it 14. Into the trees it goes and good. Really good start for Pomona Pitzer. They're going to have to open things up in the passing game. And they do that. Casey drops back, looking down the field. Fires over the middle. It's picked off by Thomas McConnell. McConnell over the middle. Gets down to the sideline. Kalani pick it out in front of him. Throws a block. Still going is McConnell. And he's on his feet. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Sagehens. And Thomas McConnell taking it to the house. But regardless, Thomas McConnell, big play from a big player. And that's going to extend the lead to 21 nothing. And it all goes back to that holding play where if you. This one bounces back and it's actually picked up nicely. And they're going to get a decent return. Really nice addition to the Sage Hen defense. And it looks like they're going to run a fake on the punt. And that is just ill-advised. And this one's going to be kicked into the end zone. Will they be able to cover it for a touchdown? And it's going to go out. But it will be a safety. As it was an, in, an unintentional kick into the end zone by the Sage Hen defense. So it's going to go down as a safety as that's what they're discussing right now. So third down to go. Casey drops back the pass. Surveying, flushed out of the pocket, but really didn't have much pressure. It looks towards the end zone, and a nice catch in the back of the end zone for a touchdown for Cal Lutheran, Desmond Thompson. Kick is up and good. So 23-7, seconds to play. Duncan Lee will get a chance to return this one. We'll have one second remaining on the clock. Yeah. 
And it's going to be returned very nicely. It's about the 36-yard line. Good opening field position for Cal Lutheran. And he's going to give it up the middle. It's going to be Zachary again. Looks like a good tackle by Gorman. Casey drops back to pass. And he's going to get hit again by Kling, and he's not going to get away. Alden oh, Kling gets to Casey the second straight sack by the Pomona Pitzer defense. Continue this three-back formation. Sander Wimmer with the carry around the outside. Looks to get around the edge, but can't do that. Does a good job at the defensive end for Cal Lutheran setting the edge. Kick is up from Walker. And it's good. So a good kick from Jack Walker gives the Sagehens a 26 to 7 lead on that game over in Orange County. But back to this one here in Claremont. As the kickoff goes to Thompson, he'll take this one out of the end zone. Has a little bit of room, but is tripped up and taken down right around the 25 yard line. Casey in the backfield gets the snap, fakes. Goes to his right, rolling out on the throw. Has a man, and it's down the sideline, and I don't think Yen's going to catch him. And Cal Lutheran has the big play they were looking for. And that's going to be Cade Cadam breaking free for the touchdown. Field goal attempt, or extra point attempt, I should say. Is up. And good. So 26 to 14. And now the Sage 10 offense gets back to their full playbook. Before maybe you were looking. Two, one. Russo takes a snap. Gives it to Sander Wimmer. But he's wrapped up immediately by Arthur Orta. And this one will go into the end zone for a touchback. So Cal Lutheran will get the ball. Touchback territory. An odd looking start to that play, but no penalty flags down. And Casey finds his tight end. And a play, I believe that's going to be a touchdown for Cal Lutheran, and it is. Good pass over the middle. And now this one's kicked away. Rodenbaugh. And another penalty. So, split kicking responsibilities. Susank again, using his legs. Uh, he does. Almost certainly four down territory, so they don't need it all on this play. Drops back, looking over the middle, finds it, and they do get it all on this play. Cade Cadam, who had the big wheel route for the touchdown, gets the first down right across the 50. Cal Lutheran snaps, looking for the end zone. Over the middle, finds it. Touchdown, Kingsman. Cade Cadam again. And thing. Extra point is good. So, Sagehens are in the driver's seat to host of a contest earlier this season. Sagehens handing Chapman their only loss of the year. So with that knee, that will bring us down to the final score. Pomona Pitzer, 32. The Cal Lutheran Kingsman, 27. That's the last regular season home game, so I'm hoping that we'll have another opportunity to bring you another game at Merritt Field for the Skyac Championship.